Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at geometric mean and harmonic mean of grouped data. So first we look at the formulae. Given the data x1, x2, x3 up till xn with frequencies f1, f2, f3 up till fn, the geometric mean is given as antilog of summation of f times logarithm of x over the summation of f and also the harmonic mean is summation of f over summation of f by x so these are the formulae we'll be using to calculate both the geometric mean and harmonic mean so we go ahead to solve problem. The problem we have here, we have to calculate the geometric mean and harmonic mean of the data in the table. So here is the data. We have mass in kilograms and the corresponding frequencies. So um, we start with calculating geometric mean. To calculate the geometric mean, we have antilog of summation of F times log x over summation of f so what we are going to do here we are going to get more columns first we need column for x which is the mid value so we have the column for x so we have the column for x which is going to be the mid value how do you calculate the mid value we are going to be adding the lower limit and the upper limit and then divide by 2 so 55 plus 59 divided by 2 gives 57. 60 plus 64 divided by 2 gives 62. 65 plus 69 divided by 2 gives 67. 70 plus 74 divided by 2 gives 72. 75 plus 79 divided by 2 gives 77. And finally, 80 plus 84 divided by 2 gives 82. So the next thing now is we find the logarithm of x. So finding the logarithm of x, we create another column log x. So the logarithm to base 10 of 57 gives 1.7559 to 4 decimal places. And the logarithm of 62 to base 10 is 1.7924. Logarithm of 67 to base 10 gives 1.8261. Logarithm of 72 to base 10 gives 1.8573. Logarithm of 77 to base 10 gives 1.8865. And finally, logarithm of 82 to base 10 gives 1.9138 so the next thing now is to find the product of the frequency and the log of x so we create another column f into log x that is multiplying the frequency by the logarithm of x so 3 times 1.7559 gives 5.5 2677 9 times 1.7924 gives 16.1316 12 times 1.8261 gives 21.9132 7 times 1.8573 gives 13.0011 5 times 1.8865 gives 9.4325 and 4 times 1.9138 gives 7.6552. So we are done creating the necessary columns for geometric mean. Since we've gotten the column for f into log x and the column of summation of f is originally given. So what we do now, we get the summation. So we start with summation of f. Summation of f is to add 3, 9, 12, 7, 5, and 4. So we have 
the sum of the frequency, which is summation of f to be 40. Then we need the summation of f into log x. So we have to add this, this, and that gives 73.4013 from our calculator. We then substitute into the formula for geometric mean. So this is going to give us the antilog of 73.4013 over 40. So simplify what we have inside this bracket now, that is 73.4013 divided by 40. We have it as antilog of 1.8350. So finding the antilog of 1.8350, we have 68.39. So from here, we are done calculating the geometric mean. We then go ahead to calculate the harmonic mean. So for the harmonic mean, we have summation of f over summation of f by x. So that means we already have summation of f, which is 40. We need additional column for f by x. So create the column for f divided by x, which means frequency divided by the mid value. We have the frequency here and we have the x here. So 3 divided by 57 gives 0 0.0526. 9 divided by 62 gives 0 0.1452. 12 divided by 67 gives 0 0.1791. 7 divided by 72 gives 0 0.0972. 5 divided by 77 gives 0 0.0649. And finally, 4 divided by 82 gives 0 0.0488. So with this summation, we are going to sum up all these values under f by x so summing it up from our calculator we have 0 0.5878 we're going to substitute this 40 and 0 0.5878 into the formula for the harmonic mean so that's going to give us 40 which is summation of f over 0 0.5878 which represents the summation of f by x so simplifying this from our calculator, we have 68.05, also to four significant figures. And that's all for the calculation of harmonic mean, which is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all videos on statistics. Remember also to subscribe to our channel. Until we come your way again, goodbye.